Hey guys, Takamasak here, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. Uh, off screen, I rested up at the inn there, which is now only 10 gold. I believe it was 50 before. But also from the new item shop over there, I purchased some Cobra bracelets, which is infinitely better than what we had before. Uh, not only is it more defense for everyone, it also protects us against poison attacks. So that will help us out in the future. Uh, today we're going to go back to the Water Palace just to check on Luca. Might as well. Plus I get to ride the ducky! Yay! That was mildly entertaining. And on top of all that, we get to murder a Rampus. Now you don't have to walk back, you could really just take the cannon there if you want to, but I... It's not that far, I mean, honestly. Gotta go through a Lullabud, a Mushboom, and a Rabbite. And you're at the water palace, so not really worth taking the can. And all the way back up. Yeah, I also gave Alex the axe just to grind a little more on his weapons there. If I didn't say so also, it does increase the attack power for that weapon if you increase its level. I think it only increases by one, but it's better than nothing. Hey. must be the Empire. Well, it was here when we got her. Huh. Better not be that Thanat- Oh. They're not from the Empire? Oh. Huh. wonder who it could be. Probably the other Empire. No, not at all. So yes, we get to trot all the way back to Gaia's navel. Outstanding. Oh, we needed some more experience anyway. Come on. I don't even know what level I am, to be honest. I don't typically pay attention to it when I'm playing through this game. Plus, I want to burn off all my magic, too. So let's uh, do that on the way back. Uh, let's see. Mm, sure, why not? Let's play around with uh, Undine there. Well, I guess she's my ass. So. Let us use Stone Saber instead. That would be much more ideal. Plus, I get to show it off. What do we get? Oh, candy won't fit. Yeah, every now and then. Yeah, you see, well, I guess it was a 42, so it'd be hard to tell there. But I think I said so last time, but petrification is instant death. Oh, come on, turn him into a snowman. Get him? No. Everything's so weak. Let's uh, empty out the MP there. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do freeze for now. I want to use that. If things can take that treasure chest, death to chest. Yeah, I want to just empty out right here. I don't. There's not a whole lot of instances where, uh, damn it, Nicole, where acid rain is really all that useful. It's a good idea to have enemies with lower defense, but it's just meh at best, in my opinion. I feel that way a lot about, or about a lot of the stronger, allegedly stronger attack spells. Like Earth Slide, meh. In a lot of cases, if you're using 6 MP to cast 2 Earth Slides, generally it seems like 3 Gem Missiles would do just as much, if not more, so that's mostly my reasoning behind that. Death to be! Oh, close, anyway. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Let me do this first, will you please? Before you murder everything. Ah, uh, yeah, just empty all that out. There we go. And for good measure, let's, uh, acid rain him. Hooray! Demise! He almost survived it. No, no, he didn't. Let's head back down the quick way here. Not really necessary to go and kill everything. You're more than welcome to, but... We want to stop by Watts, too. We should have a couple of things to power up. The spear, sword, and uh, the bow. Turns into the herald sword. And we now have the sprite spear. I believe that will... Is that the one that puts enemies to sleep? I believe so. 
Well, there's only one way to find out. A uh, Herald Sword, effective against slimes and lizards. I think it's supposed to do additional damage, but I don't really pay much attention to that either, honestly. Uh, balloons enemies, so like we saw with the bat, I uh, will take us out of commission for a little bit. Now, some enemies you can hit while they're balloons, or while they're ballooned, and some you can't. I'm not sure really what the deal with that is, if it's supposed to be like that, or what. Now I'm going to rest up before we continue, so I'll be right back. Alright, now if you don't have your medical herbs and candies, cup of wishes restocked, now is the time to do so, so go purchase all that. Hey, what are you doing out here? Oh, well I guess this is the next logical place to come. Huh. Tropicalo? No. I don't know. Only one way to find out. What is this thing? Oh, like an underground ship. It's pretty cool. Yeah, come over here, we can get the Whips Orb. Now sometimes there will be two orbs in these things. Uh, once you open the chest, another one might be there. It's just random, I believe, how that happens. And that'll mean you'll miss out on another one later. So likewise, if it's not there, uh, you may get, or there's a good likelihood that you'll get two of that orb later. Well, you guys left a gigantic hole in the earth. Can I just have that seed? You guys are like the least intimidating bunch I've ever seen. The Scorpion Army. Well, yeah, I, I see that. Kilroy. Hubba Hubba. Oh dear. That's a nice little scorpion you got on your cape there. No? Huh. Where are you guys going? Did, huh? Uh, what are you... What the? Ah ha ha ha. Oh. Now wait. What is his name? Kettlecan, I believe. You want to try to keep away from him? His hammer attacks can moogle you. And what I would like to do here is I want to get everybody with a ranged weapon. So I'll just give that to the sprite him keep away there, and I will grab... Oh, why not? Now, he moves very slow in his first form here, so it's a good idea just to charge up. Okay, he's got a little more range than I thought he did. Come on, there you go. Yeah, just charge up and keep away from him. You can just see how long it takes him to get over here. It's very easy to keep out of his range with a ranged weapon. But of course, you can always miss. Yeah, you saw he can moogle you with that. All right, game. With his hammer attack, which we don't really want to deal with. Game? We're gonna have to talk about this. Yeah, once again, you can go all out with your freeze magic there. Uh, freeze will do more damage than gem missile, I believe. There we go. Maybe I need to get a little closer. Maybe that's the game's problem. Even though the boomerang is clearly passing through his body. It'd be a great idea to have Nicole uh, use a cure water here to keep our HP. Oh, by the way, you can't petrify bosses. Most of the uh, sabers there won't be working on bosses, so keep that in mind. Or their special effects won't. There you go. Oh dear. Bust! Eh, 40 damage, not too bad. Could be worse. Not much worse, I could be using the pole arm, I suppose. There you go. Yeah, just keep an eye on his feet. One of these times, after we hit him, he will have a wheel as a foot. He'll greatly increase his movement speed. So that will increase his attack, but lower his fate. Help me out. Assuming how he is not doing much hit me at this point. There you go. And, yeah, obviously not a very high level, so it only lasts a couple seconds there. Alright, buddy. He's not really too difficult, so just keep away from him, use your ranged weapons. You should be just fine. Ah -ha -ha. I think they could have give, given him a better weapon. 
Hey, good job, Nicole. You did something. I... Closer? Alright, you know what? I don't typically use this. But let us do so anyway. Couldn't hurt. Nicole. Oh, there we go. And once you see his wheel, you want to just stay away from him and then just unload on your uh, freeze magic there. Plus, I want to level it up. So. Two birds with one stone, right? Yeah, it also obviously would be much harder to keep away from him. Load! Quickly! Quickly! Yep. Should be all set. I believe he does that after you take half of his HP. And seeming I have one MP, why not? Uh... Ah, what the hell. Just to use MP. Boom! Oh, nuts. Didn't kill him. Gotta be pretty close. There you go. Moogle! Yeah, that's why I said to ow, bring along some medical herbs there, because, well, that'll get rid of the Moogle. Uh, let's do cure water here. Right, now that he's in super hyper mode, I'm going to use a stronger weapon. Oh! Okay, got a hit. Get to the other side so I can charge up. No! Oh. Curses! What do you call that attack, anyway? There we go, got him. All right. Now, he can work slightly like the Biting Lizard, too, if you stay on a diagonal of him, so... Not too terribly difficult. If you had your freeze at level 2, you should be able to take him out after unloading all your MP. But not necessary. Like I've said, I'm going to go a little of uh, fighting mixed with uh, magical nuking, so... Nuts. No. Seed. <laughs> no? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, thanks, I guess. Well, he didn't even say goodbye. What a dick. Oh, let's see here. How are we doing with our MP? Might as well. Give it a little bit of more experience. Now, I'm going to rest up here, and I'm going to return to the Nekos way over by the Water Palace. We've been there several times. You guys should know the way by now. So I'll do all that, rest up, and I'll probably end up resting and saving at Nekos, burning off all my MP on the way just to level my magic some more. So, yeah, I'll just meet you back at Nekos over by the Water Palace for next time. And let's play Secret of Mana. This is Takamasak, and I will see you later.